Dear friends, Jesuit education is almost 500 years old. And during the past 500 years, we are so proud that we have contributed immensely to the world. We focused on human beings, we focused on human values, and in our education we focused on human excellence. Last 500 years we played as a trendsetters in the field of education. Now when we look at today, in the 21st century, we must look at Jesuit education in the same way and uh, contribute to the world immensely. When we look at uh, the priorities of Jesuit education today, I would like to place before you exactly the priorities which we have today to fulfill. We have our contemporary way of proceeding in education guided by several points. Number one is we are focusing on an inner conversion of our students. A conversion means a transformation in lives. Therefore, we look at discernment, collaboration, networking, intellectual depth, Ignatian pedagogical paradigm, which we call IPP, etc. General Congregation 36 and for the General's letters, especially on universal apostolic preferences of the Society of Jesus in 2019 to 29, to 2029, is very, very important for us. We also have a very important document prepared by the Secretariat of Jesuit Education uh, in 2019, which is called uh, Jesuit Schools, a Living Tradition, an Ongoing Discernment, Ongoing Process of Discernment. Now, when we look at uh, Universal Apostolic Preferences, we call it UAP, there are four major areas to concentrate, and it is Jesuit education also is looking at these four areas. Number one is showing the way to God. Showing the way to God is very, very important today because our students are caught up in, in between two major forces, either extreme negation of religion or, or fundamentalism or fanaticism. In between, our youngsters, our young minds are caught up. And as educationists, it's our duty, it is our duty to show them the way to God in a realistic way. UIP 2 talks about walking with the excluded, the marginalized. And we know plenty of them are excluded and marginalized. UIP 3 is talking uh, about journeying with the youth. We have a focus that our youth, who are our future, must be educated well. Critically, they must be able to think about everything. And you have before talk about caring for our common home. We are here. This environment, this eco, this home is our common home. Therefore, not only human beings, Every being in this world has a right over it and therefore caring for or our common home, that is ecology, is a very, very important element uh, the UAP is telling us to look into. Now, my dear friends, along with this, we had uh, in 2017 in Rio de Janeiro, we had a wonderful meeting of Jesuit educationists. In that Jesuit education meet, meet, we have come out with 10 areas to, to, to look into Jesuit education. Now, this Rio de Janeiro preceded uh, a meeting in Cipay, in Spain, in Barcelona. And prior to that one, we had a global con colloquium, uh, which was held in 2012 at Boston University in US. So this uh, Rio de Janeiro came out with 13 areas to look at. Number one is 
examine of consciousness our children must be uh, made to learn how to take an inward journey they should focus on what is going on within a kind of self introspection must be taught otherwise their lives will be become meaningless simply superficially they will live so allow them to look within and enter deeply into uh, 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 the, the, the in, interior lives of them and that is why examine of consciousness is important number 2 is inter religious education we are aware that we are living in a multi religious context multicultural context today we are all interacting with one another the world is becoming smaller and smaller and therefore inter religious education must be taught every religion has a goodness and every goodness must be taught to children and therefore third point ignatian spirituality and discernment are important because saint ignatius of loyola has given us a wonderful tool that is discernment and in and through discernment we can correct the course of our lives and therefore rio de janeiro meeting tells us rio meeting tells us that discernment and ignatian spirituality are an area to focus it also talks about plan of innovation technology has simply changed the face of the world and we as jesuit educators previously in the beginning itself we were trend setters we were creative innovative educationists and therefore once again we are looking at innovation in our context the fifth point is structures and roles must be understood well and played well that means a headmaster must know what is his role a delegate of the province or educational delegate must know what is his role etc so then therefore we are defining the ro- ro- roles of the delegates the sixth point rio came out with uh, uh, is the parents and families must be part and parcel of the formation of the child and today we know during this pandemic we know schools can only give online classes and parents are better educators who are at home educating that means a, a, a close relationship a collaboration between parents and families for the formation of the child is very very important today seventh point we have come out with is once again focus on human excellence we cannot in jesuit school create intellectual monsters alone we need to create intellectually superior human beings with a compassionate heart and necessary skills that means head heart and hand must be equally developed in jesuit education the eighth point we came out with in rio meeting as our way of proceeding is environment and social policy must be part of our schools environmental policy social policy laudato si pope john of pope benedict of uh, francis pope francis tells us that uh, a, a thorough study of the ecological imbalances when we talk about climate change or when we talk about uh, global warming etc we must understand why and where it all comes from as and therefore social policy must be understood that means a critical analysis has to be done ninth point we talked about is education for and with the marginalized a, a, a large section of people are considered as marginalized excluded in our point of view everyone is a child of god opportunities must be provided help must be given education must be catering to the needs of these marginalized people tenth point is school is not an isolated entity from the society in which it works therefore school visits family visits reviews etc are very very important delegates must visit the schools and schools must visit uh, school means the authorities of the school the principals the masters the presidents etc must have a wider contact with the people and review the schools proceeding 11th point is training for global network we cannot be an isolated entity anymore we are all part and parcel of this global networking 
Jesus are present everywhere. And we have several schools in 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 every continent. We must connect with them and learn the good practices of one practices of one school uh, by the other school. And that is why we have much much stronger focus on global networking today we also look for training for global citizenship in fact through educate matches we are giving that the global tra- citizenship training for and we are happy that uh, several people from all over the world have attended this and have profited greatly from this training for global citizenship program and the 13th point we decided is that the use of educate matches educate matches is a great platform for every jesuit educator educate matches is actually in the online global community where any corner of the world you can interact with one another uh, you can have connected classroom you can have even wonderful interaction through this platform educate matches now my dear uh, educators after rio we have uh, come out with 2019 i told you we have come out with uh, our living tradition a living tradition jesuit school a living tradition has identified 10 areas which we call it as a global identifiers globally any jesuit school ta- you take anywhere you will find these 10 qualities if these 10 qualities are existing it's a jesuit school first quality is being catholic and offer in depth faith formation in dialogue with other religions and world views we are a catholic institution we are a catholic education we are therefore open to other religions and world views why giving a faith formation in dialogue with uh, other religions and world views and therefore we have started uh, faith formation in the in the educative matches to to train the people into this area being catholic being universal and having interreligious education number 2 of the identifier of jesuit school is creating a self a safe and healthy environment for all our jesuit schools must be a safe environment healthy environment today we hear day by day atrocities against students abuse of children our schools must be a fantastic place for children to grow not to have an unsafe atmosphere an unhealthy atmosphere we are focusing on healthy environment where every child's uniqueness is accepted every child's uniqueness is encouraged that's jesuit school the third point is every jesuit school is focusing on global citizenship global citizenship we are not creating regionally parochial eh? a kind of racial or religious uh, uh, parochial mentality narrow mentality we need to create global citizenship we respect the local culture we respect the local uh, culture language everything but we also create an a, 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 a global perspective number 4 is a care of all creation we, we believe that everything is created by god and everything has a role to play in fact we have web of life we are all interrelated interconnected no one can be independent and that's why this aspect is the one of the identifiers of jesuit school today The fifth point is justice oriented education. Justice is very important. Justice means dignity of each individual is accepted and encouraged. That's why justice oriented education is very very important. 
the sixth point is our schools are accessible to all jesuit schools are accessible to all number seven is interculturality we are living in a multi cultural context every country is becoming multi multi culturally uh, existing interculturality is reality therefore we must focus on that eighth point is being a global network at the service of the mission we can collectively learn from each other contribute to each other and together we can grow and make this world a better place to live in therefore being a global network as i said jesuit schools and colleges existing all over the world and if we we learn from one another the good practices in one country or one place and by the other you know it will be a great and enriching experience for our staff and students therefore being a global network at the service of the mission the ninth point is human excellence as i said we are not focusing on intellect alone intellect is very very important we are not compromising at all but we need to create human beings with that four c's conscience competence compassion and commitment and fifth point tenth point is lifelong learning the questions they have asked in the school time must continue with them and they must search for answers that means as the new education policy of india talks about creativity and critical reflections critical thinking i think the lifelong learning includes that we are not a finished product we are growing and ongoing learning a lifelong learning is a sign of jesuit students and therefore my dear friends Jesuit education has these 10 identifiers from the living tradition 13 points from 13 action plan from the Rio conference four areas from UAPs and i think if we focus on these areas the Jesuit schools will be a once again trend setters in the world and i am sure the role of our educationists or our teachers Jesuits, our collaborators, our alumni, our teachers must come out to make a pledge that we will once again make Jesuit education as a trend-setting education in the world, focusing on the competence of the children, focusing on the conscience of the children, focusing on compassionate heart and also focusing on commitment a lasting commitment for the humanity thank you very much and god bless you all